OK, in this problem, a particle A of mass 10 kilos is on a rough horizontal surface. The coefficient of friction between A and the surface is mu. A is connected to a particle B of mass 4 kilos by a light inextensible string that passes over a fixed smooth peg. Given that B hangs at rest, find the range of possible values of mu. OK, so this is the situation that we have. We've got this rough horizontal surface. Particle A sits on that, and it's got a mass of 10 kilos, so a weight of 10 g. It will have a normal reaction force of R, and because it's a rough tabletop, we'll have a frictional force as well. So it's attached to another particle that is hanging off the table. Here's particle B. Okay, and that has a mass of 4 kilos, so it's a weight of 4 g. There will be tension in the string. And so this is the picture that we're looking at. Okay? Now, as uh, B is hanging at rest, uh, the acceleration is zero. So we'll take that into account. So, part A. So what we want to do, okay, because it's saying find the possible, uh, find the range of possible values of mu. So because the system is at rest, we have that F will be less than or equal to mu times R, okay? So, we need to find that reaction force, the normal reaction force. So, what have we got? Well, um, the normal reaction force, if I resolve A vertically, taking up as positive, then I will have R working upwards. I've got 10G working against me. There's no acceleration in the vertical direction, and so mass times acceleration will be zero. So R is just 10 lots of G, uh, which if I'm using 9.8 as G, will just be 98 newtons. Okay, so that's R. So I now know the R in this. Now what else can I use? Well. Um, if I then look at resolving A horizontally, okay, so if I resolve A horizontally, taking to the right as positive, then I've got the tension in the string, take away uh, the frictional force, has got to be equal to mass times acceleration. But because the uh, system is at rest, the acceleration is zero, and so that's zero. So I now know that T is got to be equal to the frictional force. Okay? Right. Now if I now look at particle B, and I resolve that taking, um, I could take upwards as positive if I want to. Makes it easier for me. I've got the tension working upwards. I've got 4G, the weight working downwards. There's no acceleration, the system's at rest, and so that's zero. So T is equal to 4 lots of G. So 4 lots of G, 4 lots of 9.8 is 39.2. So that means that F must be 39.2. OK. So I've now got 39.2 has got to be less than or equal to mu times r, the 98. So that means that mu must be greater than or equal to 39.2 divided by 98. And that gets me 0.4. So mu must be greater than or equal to 0.4 in order for this to be at rest. OK? for the acceleration to be zero. So, that's the situation as it stands for A. Now for B, what happens now is that B is replaced by a particle C of mass 7 kilos. So C has a weight of 7g. Okay? The system now accelerates at 0.8 metres per second per second. So we're accelerating at 0.8 metres per second per second. OK, so this is what we now have. OK, 
So, if I now resolve A in the direction of travel to the right, I'll have T take away F is equal to the mass 10 times the acceleration 0.8. OK, so 10 lots of 0.8, which is just 8. So I've got that equation. Now, if I resolve B, taking downwards as positive, I've got 7G take away T is equal to the mass 7 times acceleration 0.8. So 7 lots 0.8, 5.6. OK. So here I now have two equations, 1 and 2. So if I add those two equations together, The t's will cancel, and I'll be left with 7g take away f is 8 plus 5.6, so 13.6. So the frictional force will be 7 lots of 9.8 take away 13.6, which is 55. So the frictional force is 55 newtons. OK. Now... That's got me F. Now, because the uh, blocks are accelerating, okay, I have that F is equal to mu times R. I've now got the F, 55. I need R. So, what I'm going to do now is if I resolve A, uh, taking upwards as positive, I will get the result that I had here. The normal reaction force should be the, exactly the same, because I've still got R working upwards, I've still got 10G working downwards, and there's no acceleration in the vertical component, so it's still zero, so that means that R must still be 98 newtons. So, F was 55, R is 98, So 55 divided by 98 is 0 0.56 to two significant figures. So mu is 0 0.56 to two sig fig. That is the coefficient of friction in the case for B.